application. So the more niche you can be, the better. Like if you're writing about gut health, you're going to be giving it into natural magazines, health magazines, a fantastic, obvious, easy sale of an article without a doubt. <coughs> but the conversation when you are deciding what you want to write about can be a bigger conversation. And it can be a conversation about what is my brand? Like, do I want to write about everything or am I and why am I writing because there's two reasons possibly you're writing and number one is you want to make money by being a freelance writer and number two is you want to build some sort of brand for yourself um, I started just being a freelance writer so I would make spend a huge amount of time pitching articles I would just have a list of like 20 articles I'd go boof to Marie Claire boof to women's health boof to men's health send them off see what they want write them and that's that but now, writing is a lot more strategic. So what is the future you want to create for yourself? Because the opportunity is to create the brand yourself. So, and I mentioned Nick. Nick wants to go into your future, whatever. And maybe you want to set yourself up as this brand, as this foodie. Which means you would focus on writing very foodie-related stuff. And in our next article style, maybe even that's the sort of thing you can look at. Um, and you're, a, I think you're a health expert or certainly enjoy it so you may you really want to niche you're becoming an expert in that you're building a brand around that and maybe your brand is around political commentary or whatever it is so in choosing what you're going to write about you're also choosing where you are positioning yourself and how you're positioning yourself and i just want to talk about being an expert because these articles on a level are asking you to be a little bit of an expert aren't they yeah. because you're telling other people how to do something and there's different kinds of experts. So the first one is a professional expert. You're a lawyer and you're going to tell people how to write a property contract or how to get out, handle a tenant or whatever it may be. Or you're a doctor and you're telling them what is leaky gut. So you are a professional expert. Easy one. The second level of expert is you're a learned expert. You've done it. You've raised three teenagers and you've got a fair idea about how to handle a hormonal teenager or whatever it is. You've worked in hospice and you want to share your experiences. Um, so that's the second level, a learned expert. And this can be in any field. So like a learned expert can be a, a, an athlete, a runner, somebody who's just done it and built that body of experience. Um, and the, 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 the third level of expert is a research expert. Most journalists are research experts, which means you know nothing about the subject matter, but you're going to go and ask a whole load of people who know. And that's extremely important. The third level is the basis of good journalism. But that's a different level of journalism. So what we've talked about now is those things where you already stand, you know this stuff. You can tell people. Okay, so we, we, we're, we're still dabbling in that domain um, of expertise. And bearing in mind where do you want your brand to be okay so on that note we're going to move on to the next type of article you can write and then we'll take a little bit of a longer tea break